If you watch the video about evaluating expressions, then I hope that you noticed that there was not an equal sign at all in any one of those problems. And that's because we were evaluating expressions, and expressions being the key word there. There, are, uh, there is a difference between an expression and an equation, and this is a very important concept to get down pat, because I see students a lot trying to solve when there really was not an equal sign to begin with. So you cannot solve something if there is not an equal sign. Do not ever introduce an equals unless it was already originally there in the problem. Now, let's look at an example of this. An expression would be something like this, 6 minus y minus x. Notice there is no equal sign anywhere. So we can't solve that. All we can do is simplify it. Now an equation would look something like this, 3x plus 5 equals 12. Notice that equals sign in there. These are the only things that we can solve. So really try to get that down pat. We solve equations, we simplify or evaluate expressions. Very important terminology there. Well, when we solve an equation, what we're doing is we're finding out what the variable is, what it represents. Um, and in a, in a little while, we're going to actually be learning to solve equations. But before we do that, we need to understand what it means to solve. And in order to solve, you are finding the solution. A solution is what you would find put in place of the variable to make the equation true, to make the sentence true. This is just a mathematical sentence. So in this problem, it says decide whether the number is a solution of the equation, meaning is 17 a valid number to put in place of n in this equation? Now, so in order to do that, to figure it out, well, all we have to do is replace it. Remember, a variable is just holding the place of a, um, of a number of some sort. So we're going to place the 17 in place of the n. So we're going to take this original equation, and instead of n, we're going to put in a 17, and then we're going to simplify uh, and each side of the equation and see if it's a true uh, statement. So 17 minus 14, we have to do that first because it's in parentheses. Remember your order of operations. So now we have 3 times 3 equals 9, and 3 times 3 is in fact 9. Because 17 made this entire mathematical sentence true, then it is a solution to that problem. Now, our next problem says determine whether 7 is a solution of the equation 7x plus 7 equals 56. Well, here again, if it is a solution, we should be able to replace the x with that number, and it should make sense. So when I plug in a 7 in place of x, and then begin to um, simplify each side of the equation, 7 times 7 would be 49. We do that first because multiplication comes before addition. And then 49 plus 7 is 56. Because this is a true statement, then yes, 7 is a solution to that equation. 